welcome to this video about uh, my HX stomp that I'm selling on eBay. Um, I bought this from a guitar amp and keyboard centre in Brighton and um, obviously brand new and then very soon after I decided I wanted the uh, the big boy version which is down on the floor. Uh, so this is superfluous to requirements um, and it's silly having it you know hanging around the house not being used so it's mint condition never been gigged and uh, it's probably better than a new one because if you've read any reviews on this machine you'll know that um, the stock sounds that come with this thing aren't really that great most people tend to sort of pimp it out with uh, uh, IRs you know, impulse responses and patches from third party companies um, I bought a fantastic uh, set of patches and IRs by a guy who calls himself Fremen if you check him out on the internet as F-R-E-M-E-N I found his patches to be the best, so they're the ones that I've got in here. I left a lot of the original patches in the ones that I thought that were worth saving, but obviously you can get them all back with a factory reset, and I'll send you everything I've got in terms of you know downloads. I also bought a load of other IRs, which I'll give you, you know, I'll, I'll throw in. I'll, I'll once I've we've done the deal and I've got your email address, I'll send you everything that I've got, so you'll be able to you know pick and choose uh, what you want. This is just simply to show you the thing works. And some of these fantastic patches uh, from Freven. I'm using uh, quite a nice Fender Telecaster. This is an, an Elite. It's got uh, noiseless pickups. Um, I'll just run through a few of the patches and then I'll show you the condition of the uh, unit all the way around. So you can see it's not all scratched up. I've got the box and all the you know the usual stuff that comes with it, all the leads, everything you're going to need. Um, I'm going to do this postage free so you know obviously it's not exactly free because I'm going to bolt the, the, the price of the postage in the price of the thing I just find that's a lot easier than trying to sort the postage out um, I'm only going to post this to the UK I'm afraid so um, if you're looking at this from abroad this is not for you um, and do be aware that if you're going to buy one of these things uh, make sure that um, this is what you want because I bought it and then very soon after decided I wanted the bigger version which is obviously much more expensive um, but it does do an awful lot more. Having said that this has got all the sounds and uh, everything you need much the same as the, the, the Helix floor or the Helix rack uh, it's just less buttons and less sort of toys but anyway so this as you can see is uh, acoustic sim patch I'll just play a bit of that for you it's basically meant to sound like an acoustic guitar but using a basic electric guitar like I'm using here I mean obviously it's not going to sound like a Martin Dreadnought having said that um, I've got a Variax 96 Variax guitar and when I use that uh, with this you know, I do get some really good results, but this is just a basic guitar. Um, obviously, you can use the, the foot switches here to go through the, the patches, but as I've got it up on the desktop, I'm just going to scroll using this. Um, oh, you've got a tuner, by the way. If I just press these two buttons together, you'll see you've got a tuner there. Okay, and you just whatever you play comes up on the screen. Typical chromatic tuner. That's very handy. Press those two buttons again. You've got all the instructions and they're all online as well so you know you can't really go wrong with this thing and if you get stuck with it I'll, I'll obviously be happy to help you. Um, let's just scroll through there's a few of those acoustic patches. Uh, what else have we got here? A pretty nice AC, uh, AC30. Maybe turn it up a little bit. Probably take a bit more. Thin plectrum, let's go for a bit of a thicker one. Pretty nice. Um, let's go through loads of these AC30s. Um, as you can see, these patches flicking by here. It's a JC120 Roland. <laughs> beautiful reverbs and delays in it um, you can see the different views there there's the view where you've got all the, the blocks um, and you just scroll through and you can see all the different blocks so this one's got obviously the input block um, it's got a compressor it's got the jazz rivet 120 which is the Roland they can't call them by the proper names otherwise they get sued but it's a, it's a jazz chorus amp 
it's got an IR Fender um, uh, cabinet impulse response in it uh, Trinity chorus um, it's got a dual delay which isn't switched on if I press this button it lights up and then that's now on pretty nice delay there's some that's, I think that's a modulated one, that one, but there's lots of straightforward relays. Spring reverb, usual stuff. So let's have a look at some more patches here. Um, I'm going to bore you stiff with this. Um, these are all the clean patches. So we'll just go for um, um, this one, which is called The Wall, for obvious reasons. Um, <laughs> Humbucker kind of um, set up this. It's pretty better, isn't it? And so these are all the, the Fremen presets, um, but there are some of the original ones left in. I think you've got, let's just quickly check, uh, 120, you've got 125. Um, uh, places where you can store sounds okay so you know that's obviously not as much as you've got on the big boy versions but it's enough to get you started and you can always back up to computer as well so you know it's not really a problem right let's go to some of the uh, crunch settings uh, we've got here a bit much let's just turn it down a bit Just on the verge of breaking up there. So. But nice though. Um, you've obviously got volume control here. Over on the side here, which out of shot, there's a headphone port. Uh, it's stereo uh, uh, in and out, I think. Definitely stereo out, not sure if it's stereo in. You can run. Um, a set of pedals into it it's got an effects loop send and return i'll show you that on, you know, on camera in a moment I'll show you around the back of it but uh, there's a few different uh, views here that the view we've got at the moment is the um what is this let's have a look view uh, page that's presets that's sort of adjacent patches to this one so you can see 39 and if i press um that button it goes to 40 and that button it goes to 41 so it's that view um, that snapshot view a snapshot is basically um, you can have three different versions of the same patch with things changed in it you know I and mean, this is all explained far better than I can on the internet by loads of people so there's literally hundreds of videos on this fantastic little box and you perhaps don't realize it, but it's a, quite a chunky piece of equipment I mean that's a fair weight that it's a nice, nicely made metal box. It's not some flimsy piece of plastic that's going to fall apart on the road. Um, what else have we got? I like. Um, oh, these Andy Timmons patches are great. It sounds a bit loud, but I'm going to turn it down a bit. Andy T is obviously Andy Timmons, if you know he's playing. <laughs> It's obviously fairly effects heavy but I mean you can always you can turn effects off if you don't like that and resave and rename it you can rename it on the, on the machine or, or you can use the software it, it comes with software which is which you download from line six um, which I think is called HX edit and it's really good software and you can see all the parameters up on the screen so you don't have, even have to touch the box at all with a handy tunes lead <laughs> Obviously, I've got a Les Paul. A lot of these patches sound better on that. Uh, some of the patches sound better on the telly. You know, it sources for courses, as you know, if you're a guitarist. Not that any two is immediate. Why do we always play A chords when we're doing this thing? <laughs> Nearly 
sounds on the Fremen uh, patches and IRs, and I've got a load of other IRs I bought. So, as I say, you can have a whole lot, you know, within the price, which is, you know, quite a bit less than the new price of one of these. So, you know, it is a bargain, uh, but I'm not going to take any offers, so please don't bombard me with, with offers. It's going to be a buy it now price. And if I don't sell it, I'll just keep it because it's a handy little thing to take out if I don't want to uh, hump my big uh, helix around with me. <laughs> And you can change there's so many things, so many parameters that you can change with these things, it's untrue, and you'd be there forever, you know. Um, uh, Soldano and <laughs> And for a telly, it's not bad, is it? You know, tellies don't tend to do this stuff very well, do they? Uh, oh, these are these are some of the. You know, they're all right. These are some of the original patches. They're okay, but I can obviously put my hand in my heart. I mean, it's silly, really, because if you went into a shop and tried this thing, when you went through a handful of these patches, you'd probably think, yeah. No, not no, thank you. I don't know why they do this. No, um, the third-party patches are so much better. Um, so yeah, uh, loads of these, loads of these. Oh, what else have we got here? The Fender Twin. This one I put together. <laughs> And there are quite a lot of free patches for this you can download online anyway. You know, you don't have to pay anything. So there's, there's lots of resources. This is a, a, a Joe Satriani lead that I've doctored. So all the switches work, all the dials work, um, no issues with it whatsoever. Um, I'm going to uh, just unplug everything now and I'm going to show you the condition of the thing and the box and a few other bits, okay? So here, here is the uh, unit, a bit closer up so you can see it. So there's the, the top, okay, and there's the side that shows the, uh, the send and uh, return sockets on the back you can plug an expression pedal into which I, I have done that works pretty well. I used an old uh, Roland one it was absolutely fine so you can you know do volume or wah uh, and you've got the uh, yeah you have got stereo input and output you've got the USB there for um, the interface with the computer that's the um, power socket and the power switch uh, around here you've got the MIDI and the headphone jack and um, there's the underneath of it and okay there are a few a few light scratches there nothing's going to worry you here's the power supply which i've labeled hx stomp which might be useful to you you can always peel that off of course i always label all my power supplies because in my studio i've got so many mains plugs i'll never know what's what and if i ha ever have a, a studio refit it really helps so i'd recommend you do that but this is the lead you can see it's still got original kinks in it that you get and uh, yeah, obviously no problems with that at all. Here's the box. All the the pamphlets and booklets and stuff in the cheat sheet. Uh, USB lead. Um, alternative um, plugs for power if you're abroad. Of course you won't be because I'm not going to sell it to anyone abroad. But you might be going abroad. And the box is in there for the, the power supply. And that all goes together really nicely. That box fits into this sleeve. Full disclosure, when I got it out. It did split a bit on the on the ends. I mean, it's so tight; it's practically impossible to get it off without splitting it. So I have taped those ends together. Um, but if you're the kind of person that worries about that thing, just so you know, there and there, and there, I've taped it. But you know, these sort of things don't worry me too much. But you know, just in case you wonder why they're split, that's that's the reason. So this is the little protector screen that fits over. Um, 
There we are. Even got that back on there. This is all good news, isn't it? So you won't have any trouble with this at all, I'm sure. I've got a very good uh, reputation on eBay, which I'm eager to maintain. So uh, all the stuff I sell is always good. I've never had any problems. Got 100% um, feedback. So thank you very much for watching. If this is something you're after, then you certainly won't go wrong with this one.